Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we talk about visualization. Visualization is very important in chess because when we are planning ahead we always need to make sure that we can imagine how the position will look like in a few moves. And that's what visualization is about. We need to be really able to imagine what the position looks like. And I will show you three different methods to improve your visualization step by step and to become better at imagining situations just in your head. So the first technique I want to show you is very basic and maybe you're already employing this one, which is solving puzzles without touching the pieces. So you should just solve puzzles, but never touch the pieces. Always um, pretend that you're having the same conditions as you were playing a on the board game or something and try to come up with the solutions in your head. And while you're trying to um, consider moves ahead, you will try and um, imagine how the position looks like. For example, if you are a beginner, you need to figure out if this is really a mate without actually having the mate on the board. And that's how you really improve on this because you need to um, do it in your head. If you are more advanced, you will do this with more difficult exercises and this will really help you imagine more and more positions and that's how you get better. So that's method number one and we continue with method number two. Method number two in training your visualization is what I call reading games. So no matter which techniques you have available, it's always possible to have a game of chess in a PGN notation. And that's the only thing you need. What you do then is you try to read through the game and imagine the position in your head. Depending on your level, you can adjust the difficulty. So if you are a beginner, it's maybe already yeah, quite good to try to imagine the position after move three. Once you have a clear picture in your mind, you can try to compare it with the board by clicking there and trying to either correct something if you missed one piece or just yeah, say that was good and continue to go three moves ahead in your head again and try to imagine the position. If you are more advanced, you can try five moves, 10 moves, or if you are really good, you can try to read through the whole game. This can be quite fun and you can do it uh, without a lot of uh, material needed. Um, you just need to take your time and then go through some examples. So that's it for method number two. And we will continue with method number three now. Before we come to example number three, I want to quickly ask you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. This really helps me grow this channel, make better content and it doesn't take a lot of time. So very happy if you subscribe. Thanks a lot. The third method is playing blindfold games. So if this seems a bit hard at the beginning, you can also First, start with an intermediate step and all you need to do is go to leeches and go to the settings. I will show you how to do this. You just need to change the style of the pieces to this white dot and then you will um, have your board like this. Every piece will be shown as a dot and this is the first step towards having no pieces shown at all. So you don't need to remember everything and as a hint you always know on which squares there are pieces all you need to remember in the first step is which piece is standing there so that's the first step and once you master this quite okay um, you can go a step deeper go to settings on leeches again and then go to um, blindfold and enable unvisible pieces to yes and then once you start a game you won't have any pieces and you can actually play blindfold games so that's how to do it all you need to do is play some games don't play too fast time controls because it takes more time to remember the stuff 
but this really uh, helps you to get to the next level and maybe already play your first whole blindfold game on your own. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the content and could help you with your visualization and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.